Hello and welcome to Sleeping Saints. This is a place where we rest with gratitude. My name is Jermaine and if this is your first time here, thank you. We're glad you're here and that you found this podcast. And if you've been listening to us for a while, maybe even from the beginning, and you've found value in what we do, we'd like to invite you to support us in whatever way you want. That might mean telling someone about the show, that we're here and what we do. Or you can support us financially, either by a one-off donation or as a continued and ongoing membership. Either way, you're part of a really valuable and treasured sleeping saints community. And we want to grow this community. And we'd love to take you on the ride with us. Let's get ready to sleep as we begin in prayer. Lord, we thank you and we love you so much. We trust you as our father, as our best friend. We put you at the forefront of our hearts and our minds right now. You deserve to be there. Who else could do the things you do? Who else can heal, repair, build and love in every area of our lives that needs these things? You care, Lord, about every aspect of our lives, the big things, the small things, even the things we neglect to consider. You know us better than we know ourselves. So you know exactly what we need. We are never lacking. We are never without. Even in our hardest times, we have comfort. You hold us and reassure us. You speak to us when no one else knows the right things to say. You 
your wisdom is infinite. We are at peace knowing that you are always right. You know all things. You see all things. You see further. You love deeper. You take us higher. Thank you for the day that you've brought us through. We made it through to the end. We're still here. Nothing could kill us. Nothing could overcome us. That's not to say that we haven't faced hard things today. But you've been faithful. We hope in you and you alone. We're not waiting for good luck. We're not counting on lucky charms or items that sit on our desk or in our homes that the people tell us will bring us good fortunes. We believe bigger than that. We believe in you. It's a hope with foundation. It's a hope anchored in your power and love. Be with us in everything we do, Lord. You are amazing. And we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 16, verse 9 to 10 says, Therefore, my heart is glad and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, or let your Holy One see corruption. Just take a few moments to simmer down, to take some deep breaths in and out through the nose. This isn't an aimless exercise. It's us telling our bodies that it's time to rest. We're being mindful in how we approach our time before sleep. 
and that means the way that we approach the slowing down and resting of our body but also the way we approach gratitude so let's take some time to think about the things you're thankful for We just say thank you right now. Just take another deep breath. A breath of gratitude. A breath where you feel free. You know, doubt has a tendency to creep in when we least expect it. Everything is always going well until it isn't. And in those times, it's really easy for our thoughts to wonder, for our minds to start to think, is God even with me? What if he doesn't come through? I feel alone. Why isn't he helping me? Those feelings might come from time to time, but it's in those moments that it's important we don't let the enemy win. In Psalm 13, David doubted. This is what he said at the start of the psalm. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? The most important thing we can learn straight away is that David prayed. He took his doubts to God. He was very real and honest. And we find beauty at the end of that same psalm. David said, But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Our 
our faith can do amazing things. Even when we don't see the thing we're hoping for, our faith will sustain us until it comes. And it's that faith that helps us overcome those feelings of doubt. If you have feelings of doubt, take them to Jesus. Don't take them to the naysayers who will only make you doubt even more. Go back to the source of every answer. Jesus. You might not understand everything straight away, but he will give you comfort and strength through your hardest battles. Thank you, Lord, for being with us and blessing us. Thank you for the fact that you are fact. You are true. You are real. We see the road you've taken us on so far and remember the type of God you are. In our times of doubt, we join with David and say, I have trusted in your steadfast love, my heart, shall rejoice in your salvation. We pray that you will dwell with us. Hide us under your shadow. Shield us from all danger and harm. Give us the belief and hope that trumps every negative feeling that tries to derail us and give us rest. Lord, it's now the end of the day. Grant us a good night's sleep. We ask that you move aside anything that's trying to keep us awake. We pray and believe and go to sleep knowing that you are God in our lives. You are the only one that can deliver us. Encourage us. Strengthen us. Protect us. We thank you for everything and we bless your name.
cover our bed. Cover our family. Cover our house. We are so grateful. And we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.